According to the 2019 expenditure pattern report, which measures Nigerians' spending pattern on both food and non-food items, it reveals that Nigerians spend a whooping 56.65% of their money on household items like food. If you actually convert this to currencies, Nigerians spend a whooping 22.7 trillion naira on just buying food. In today's video, guys, we are going to be having a conversation with Mr. Badesuka, who is the CEO of Sotis Restaurants, and it's actually one of the best restaurants in Lagos. Yes, I said it because I tested their meal and it was mind blowing. It was amazing. It was sweet. He gets to share with us his journey as an entrepreneur. This nothing i have not sold in this life um, i have sold clothes yeah i have sold clippers wow. i've sold um you know this my five my yeah, yeah 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 i've sold that how he basically started and how he's facing the lowest point of his life and as well what it takes to be successful running a restaurant business in nigeria this is an amazing conversation this guy is a very transparent individual and i know you're going to learn a lot of things from this particular video by the way, my name is Mike Irumaka. I make videos around business, personal finance, and tech. And if this interests you, please and please don't forget to smash the like button. The world needs to see what African youths are building now. And as well, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like I said, guys, join the family. And without much talks, let's dive right into today's video. Let's go. Good to have you on my channel, Mr. Baisuka. Uh, yeah. So okay. I came in here, had breakfast, and I enjoyed myself. Oh. Like the place is so calm. Okay. So let's talk about. How was the breakfast? It was like it was nice. It was okay. sweet. I don't know even prepare the most. It was good. You're going to show the person actually. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about your background. So like, um, what was your background? Okay. So um, I'm a software engineer. Um, I'm what uh, most people call tech bro. Okay. Yeah. So um, but uh, I don't talk that much about um my tech um business because yeah. um, of other things I do, yeah. um, one which is um, branding, marketing. So um, I've always been a business person. Been doing business since I was uh, 17 years wow. old. Wow. Yeah, so um, that's, that's just a little bit about me. Okay, so like how did the idea for Sotis come up? Because it's Sotis by Barry Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, for Sotis, um, it's probably because I grew up in a restaurant. Okay. Yes, so my mom is a chef, um, so she had a restaurant. And um, so I literally grew up in that place. And when I was young, she, she used to come and watch me cook, come and watch me do stuff. And that restaurant was one of the popular restaurants in that community. Yeah. So um, it, a lot of people were coming there, they loved the meals and she made good money from it too. Yeah. So I saw what she did with the money, she was able to build um, some shops. Um, so that's when I knew, I was still very young then, but then that's how I knew that um, the business yeah. is a good business, it's profitable. And I also learned that um, Nigerians love food, we love to eat. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, that's how it came about. You're one of these like few entrepreneurs I know that are transparent with their business. Like you're someone that is always talking about Sotis, about your business and everything. So I want to talk about transparency in business. Like, okay. what, is that a tool to leverage in building a successful business? Like, I, I don't think it is because a lot of people don't talk about um, details of their business, but yeah. they're still very successful. Um, for me, it's. Um, Two things. One, um, I like telling stories because I also have a marketing background. Okay, yeah. And um, I like to talk about what I'm doing. If you don't talk about what you're doing, nobody would know, right? So um, I always want to talk about what I'm doing every day. And so at the end of the day, it turns out to me being open about my business, me being transparent. Um, so that's that's really um, one of the reasons. And um, I just want other people to, to um, know what I'm doing good when there's there are good things happening I talk about it yeah. when it's bad so I talk about it uh, because I want to be able to um, inspire someone I want to be able to also motivate someone um, so there's this thing I used to say that um, one of the reasons why um, Ford or what we call Yahoo today yeah, yeah. Um, it's rampant it's everywhere why a young boy of um, 20 years yeah. wants to go into fraud oh, yeah. is because we that are doing the dirty stuff we don't talk about That's what we are yeah. doing enough right we don't show off enough we don't show um, that this is what we do this is the lifestyle we live right but you see these guys that are into this fraud and all that stuff they show off right so we're human beings at the end of the day typical young guy growing up 
would look at both. Oh, this guy is, doesn't seem to be doing well, but this other guy seems to be doing very, very well, mm -hmm. right? And of course, they want to follow that lifestyle and follow whatever that person is doing, yeah. right? So for me, is one, um, I want to keep talking about my business. I want to keep talking about um, what I do. I want people to know that this is what I do. That's one. And secondly, I just want to, you know, in my only two ways, inspire people. Yeah. Like, like yeah. you see, your first business you started at the age of 17. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, um, do you just wake up one day and say that I want to go into business, or is it that your dad was a businessman or your parents, or like, yeah. was there something that sparked that business? Yeah, my parents, my parents were business people, um, but I don't even think they inspired me in any way to do this. <laughs> yeah. I think for me, it was just, I think I was just born with it. Okay. I, I just wanted to, you know, start making my own money. Right. So, um, and the first thing I ever did was this. Um, when MTN okay. were doing when phone calls, phone okay, that pop, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. People set up small. umbrella, yeah. and you know you have a phone. So I was able to get one small phone, and I started making calls, selling wow. charge I mean, card. So that was like um, I think I was like sixteen or wow. so. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's when. Um, since so then, I've just. Been so how many business? How many business have you done before setting up? Um, is it countable? <laughs> I think I've, uh, I, used, I, I used to tell people that I've sold everything. Oh, my. <laughs> There's nothing I have not sold in this life. Oh, my. I have sold clothes. Yeah. I have sold clippers. Wow. I've sold, um, you know, this MiFi. MiFi, yeah, 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 yeah. I've sold that. In fact, I sold that when I was in school. Yeah. Because I studied in India. Okay, so, wow, wow. wow um, yeah. So we were in this remote village where um, it was difficult to get most things, yeah, yeah. right? So I used to go to the city every weekend to buy um, that my fire it's, um, Tata, Tata Indico. So I bought so much of that because there were a lot of Africans there that needed this stuff, right? And so I bought so much of that thing that people started calling me um, Pata. <laughs> so I, I think we're like about 200 Africans huh. in that place. So I'm very sure I bought at least, I sold at least 100, if not more than it. Every weekend I'll go and buy 20, every weekend, every weekend I'll buy 10, this weekend I'll buy 5. So every weekend people just, and people that didn't have money to buy, I open something like a hotspot. I'll just turn it on, give yeah. them a password, and they pay me to wow. connect to it. Wow, wow. So I was like the internet guy. Internet <laughs> <Right. laughs> so that's, supplier. That's how, yeah, internet supplier. So that's how the day Tata, this could be Tata. Yeah. So that's how it came about. Talk about like your lowest point in life. Like, what would you say has been your lowest point, and how are you able to like overcome that challenge or part of your life? I think I think right now I'm having the lowest point. <laughs> <laughs> business, like, yeah, it's crazy. The business is see what's going on in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, uh, we we have to use diesel to run the splits, and diesel now is expensive. And, yeah. um, so, and then we are experiencing low sales right now. Yeah. Um, it's not moving the way it was moving mm, yeah. when we started, um, which I don't know why, but I think it's just um, the Apple. ups and downs yeah, of, business, of yeah. doing business. So, yeah. imagine combining low sales, right? Like um, the month I just finished, we're in a new month now. This is the lowest. In fact, it's it's lower than our first month. Yeah. It's that bad, yeah. right? So imagine your sales is lower than your first yes. month when yeah. you started. Yeah. And we're we're now like um, our seventh or eighth months now. Yeah. So and then add that to expensive prices of stuff, yeah. and then add that to expensive um, cost of the sale running. Yeah. So it's, it's, wow. I don't think I sleep well these days. Wow, wow. Yeah. Top of being entrepreneur, I guess. Do you, do you have any guy that inspires you? Because you're talking about your lowest point in life now. So definitely, it has to be something that like keeps you moving every day when you wake up to come out and you know, push um, as an entrepreneur. Yeah, um, one of one of the people I follow is Gary V. Yeah. Gary, they call him Gary mm -hmm. Gary Vaynerchuk. It's a very popular. It's um, his days in the U.S. So um, he's someone I follow. He's someone I model. He's someone I'm looking forward to be like in the future. Okay. And I like what he does. He runs a business, runs a media empire, and all that stuff um, now. So he's, he goes to he's a speaker at events. So it's something I'm looking forward to to yeah. be like in the future. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's someone that inspires me. So to me, hustle would be putting all your effort into achieving the goal at hand, and for me, that means.
seconds, making every minute count. Okay, amazing, amazing. That's good. So, apart from lowest and um, losses, um, yeah. which is what you're facing right now, is there another challenge that you like to talk about? Are you experiencing in running a restaurant business in Nigeria here? Um, I think I think f non non for now, non okay. for now. But um, you still get to manage human beings. Yeah, yeah. Human beings. How are you able to deal with that, safe? Yeah. It's it's crazy. We we fired um, a lot of people since we started. Oh. Um, we're firing, we're hiring, we're firing, we're hiring. So um, it's crazy managing humans. But uh, we just what was what was one key thing? Like if you were to employ someone now, say this is the perfect person. Even though no one is perfect, what was one key thing you're looking at in you know, in working with someone? Uh, I think I'll look at the personality. Like we did an interview yesterday. Okay. Um, I and one other lady. So she was the lady was doing the question, asking the question. I was just observing, right? So um, I can immediately tell if someone has a good character. So she was asking the question, but I was just watching and I'm um, trying to see the person's personality. Um, so I think for me, personality, I can just um, gauge through that and uh, maybe also your energy. I can also tell if you have an, that kind of energy because okay. it's a restaurant and if you can smile to customers and if you have this positive attitude. So yeah. I can just, um, from the questions, I can just see all those things. So that's what I look out for. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. When I was going through your post, um, Facebook post, I saw where you said you made 20 million, which was one of the highest ones. Can you talk about how you feel? Because there are some people that have never made that kind of money in their life before running a business. Uh, I felt good. <laughs> I felt good. Um, uh, Starting from, yeah. Uh, it was good, but then at the end of the day, uh, the money still has to go into okay, growing yeah. the business, you know. Um, so, how do you plan to scale? Because the restaurant business is something like when someone wants to scale, they look at franchising and probably opening up more. Yeah. So, like, is that something you're considering on the long run? Yes, yes, I'm thinking of franchise um, in the long run. Uh, we're also thinking of opening a second location, okay, okay. Um, hopefully before the year ends. Is it in this lake axis? Or? No, we're looking at the mainland for okay, now. Mainland. Yeah, because okay. um, we have a lot of people that want to come here, but they okay. say distance, distance. Yeah. So we want to take the same thing to the mainland. What was one key thing you look at in terms of opening a restaurant? Like, is there something like popular, the population and all that stuff? Um, if, if I'm going to open a rest another restaurant right now, I'm going to look at two things. One, um, the location. It has to be on the road. Okay. Okay, that's one. Um, secondly, it has to be big. Okay. Uh, bigger than this. Because, um, like, right now we are working on some plans. And my fear is that this place is not going to contain, contain all. Right? So, um, definitely, um, the next restaurant is going to be uh, maybe times two or three of this. Okay. And definitely on the road. Okay, amazing. So, um, like I said, I enjoyed my like my breakfast. I enjoyed it, and yeah. I'll be doing my audience with this service if, if they don't get to like see this okay. wonderful place. So, okay. I'll really be happy if you get to like show us um, this beautiful place and let them get to see it and probably still come right. and experience okay. what I experienced. Okay, so, well, let's let's do it then. So, so yeah, let's. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this is the space. Okay. So, um, is there anything for this house? Like, you can see uh, the phone, yeah. <laughs> the idea was to make something cozy. Okay, right? yeah. Keep home, keep it, um, your friend or your partner, your loved one, just make something cozy. So that's yeah. why we did this thing. And then I'm seeing like this um, green stuff, like, uh, makes it look natural. And <laughs> that's that's yeah. how we did that. Yeah, amazing. Wow. So let's go. Um, and this is another nice sit out, like. Yeah. So, and this is our bar. Okay. You always talk about um, the guy that mixes the drink. He's not. He's not around. Yeah, no, he's not around. Yeah. Well, I think he's around. Um, maybe he stepped out. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I saw him just now. Yeah. I'll go to like <laughs> see the guy because the guy like you really talk about the guy. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so it's this other lady that's on. Um, okay. Here right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She works hand in hand with the guy. Yes, the book, okay. The so someone can easily just come here, like sit down and pick a drink and get a drink, and she'll make one for you. Wow, amazing! Okay. So, am I might want to tell you what to mix for me, or like you have? Uh, it depends. If if you want, um, if you have something in mind, you can just tell the bartender they will make it for you. Okay. Or if you, they can also make. Uh, they can be creative and make yeah, something. Make something. <laughs> yeah. Because so, we also have our signature drinks. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that you can't find anywhere. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, they're really, really good. So okay. Maybe okay. They will make one for you. You try. It. Okay. Sure. 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 And that's oh. our kitchen too. Okay. We also have um, an open uh, kitchen. Yeah. 
uh, yeah. because we again back to transparency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being transparent. Yeah. So I want people to have a review of what's going on. It gives them that confidence that yeah. um, their food is coming from. Okay. You can see what's going on. Yeah. With their food. Yeah, because we didn't talk about like other because someone can be in the mainland can someone be in the mainland and like order for food yes, or like yes you can, you can order from wherever you are okay okay, okay. okay. we don't do like nationwide you guys are <laughs> <laughs> it's a sport yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so yeah that's that's it so this is our space uh, you guys can always come come yeah. with your friends come with your loved ones and, yeah uh, come out of the time what makes um so it is unique from others like um, first of all, our drinks. Okay. I, I usually tell people that we have the best bartender in Lagos. Okay. And it seems like I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much, <laughs> but it's the truth. Okay. Right. So, first of all, our drinks and then our meals and, of course, uh, the space. Okay. So that's, that's yeah, the space, like I, like I said, I, the space is nice. And, like, so for, so for guys that are into, like, software development, and they can actually come here and, like, you know, um, yeah, 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 okay, because... Yeah, free Wi-Fi, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, you can always, you know, Come sit down, relax, okay. and have a drink. And yeah, as long as you want, to, nobody will chase you. Okay, because there are some that actually chase you when you come and no, no, <laughs> this country, this country. Nobody will chase you. Just yeah. make sure you get him with a bottle of water. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I have to patronize it. Ask any of the waiters, and they'll give you the password. Okay. okay. Can bounce to download as much as you can. So it's up to ten Wi-Fi. Okay. So, yeah. At the end of the day, the goal is to, like inspire people. So is there any final advice you want to give to someone out there that wants to like set up something? Yeah. yeah. Business is hard, we know, but like you still have to pump people off. Like I, I, I always tell people that man, life will always eat you, and um, just keep wake up every morning and act like it's day one. Yeah. Right. And just keep doing. Nigeria, if you're Nigeria, man. Nigeria will always mess up your plan, always have plan A, plan C, plan D, and just keep doing it. If you fail, just keep trying and trying. And you make it, people have made it a lot. I mean, I don't even think of myself as someone yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's the truth. Great, yeah. right. I feel like there's still a lot of people. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people that have done that are really cool stuff. So, yeah, just yeah, keep doing it. That's, that's what I do. Keep doing it. Every okay. day you wake up, keep doing it. You guys have a website or anything? Uh, we have our Instagram page. Okay. Um, so, so what's the handle like? Um, so it's by Bike. That's okay. our Instagram page. Okay. So guys, follow them and take them out. Their food is nice. I encourage you to take them out. Like guys, I really enjoyed their meal. So uh, take them out, guys. It was awesome having a conversation. Right. So I really appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Thank you.